Hello, my makeup loving friends. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a whole week, so that means we have a whole week's worth of new makeup releases to talk about. With me, I, of course, have the rather beautiful Tia from Tia's Makeup Time. You know the drill. I'll be putting her um, details down below, including her Patreon, so do go check her out. She's wonderful. Um, we're we're going to get straight into our general announcements because uh, there's a few things. Um, there were some kind of shots going around on the likes of um, uh, Beauty Bay kind of saying, like tagging Mitchell and being like, oh, and everyone thought it would be another collaboration. But no, it's much less exciting. It's just that Made by Mitchell is now being stocked at Beauty Bay. So I'm actually quite happy about that. Yeah. Because the fee being, come on, Mitchell. Oh, it was like oh, 12 was euros and, and it wasn't even that fast. Shipping. Yeah, the next thing then is technically it's a sneak peek, but it's it's always nice to see smaller YouTubers getting their own collaboration. And this is Menagerie Cosmetics and they are collaborating with Annette's Makeup Corner. And then very final, a general, general announcement. It's the thing that we have all been waiting for. Kim Kardashian is coming out with her own skincare line. <sighs> Come yeah. on. I, I really oh hope she God. does like Kylie and puts walnuts uh, into into her skincare. Anyways, that's our general announcement. So you know what we got to do. We are getting into the thank yous. You guys tagged me in lots of content and I'm massively appreciated. So I want to say a big thank you to Brianna, Becky, Gillian, Ali, Cheryl, Samantha, Missa, Zara Louise, Paula, Kylie, Lucy O, Beth, Heidi, Missy, Chrissy, Jade, Franca, Sarah, Amy, Rosie, Gina, Sue, Rach, Rachel, Ray, Tony, Daniela, Sonia, Amina, Natalia, Gemma and Angela, Rebecca, Hannah, Megs, Laurie, Manuela, Jade, Shanna, Massa, Chris, Lucy D and Charlie. Thank you so, so much, guys. A lot of you found stuff that I wouldn't have found otherwise. Um, and as always, a huge, huge thank you to my Patreons. Uh, you guys are fabulous. A big, big happy birthday to Amy and Lucy. Happy oh, birthday. I hope you guys have an absolutely spectacular day. And um, in case you couldn't tell, the theme this week is 80s. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> transport yourself back to a time when everyone thought that George Michael was straight. Um, you know, that that, that 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 was a thing. Everyone thought that was a thing. Um, and uh, eyeshadows were not blended. Ah, simpler times. As, as always, though, of course, my Patreons have given a good go at the 80s theme as well. So you will get to see their looks on screen now. I mean, not a lot to say about it. They're all talented, so. Yeah. Cleopatra just said, like, for fuck's sake, your guys are too talented. I agree, Cleopatra. I'm frankly considering knocking a few people out of the group. <laughs> just pushing a new Sonia. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeeting a few out. And it was terrible because last week I had forgotten to include Jordan's picture. Don't know how I managed to. I'm wondering if it was subconsciously. I was like, she's too talented. Don't put that in. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? But anyways, we're going to get on to uh, the new makeup releases. Because you guys tagged the hell out of me. Um, like this was nuts. So the very first thing, and this was just announced today. This is XX Revolution. So they're coming out with a chunk of different things. There's these lip tint duos and blushes. So they can be used as blush and lip tints. And they're in four different shades. And there's some highlighters. There's two different types of primers. And then there's a big eyeshadow palette for 28 Pound. They already have that eyeshadow palette though. Like that, that's more bright, like it's more pastels, but they already have that. They they literally do the X extravaganza, which is not a bad palette. I really like it. I actually think it's very, very good. Yeah. But I'm kind I of I don't hate this. Like yeah. I don't hate it. If it come to my door, I wouldn't not accept it. Like yeah. I do I... like that peachy blush shade, like that. Ooh, yeah. that... <laughs> Yeah, the, really the nice. blushes are the bits that are getting me. I'm like looking yeah. at that, and eight pounds. 
That's not bad. I will say though the palette itself needs further editing. If you look over at the yellow side, yeah, those are the same. If you look over on the the left hand side, then with the oranges, there's two orange shades that are pretty much exactly yeah. the same as each other. I don't and think they're gonna look that different on the eyes, to be honest. Exactly. It's just not a very well edited palette, and uh, yeah. for me, it's it's I I love bright colors obviously i mean yeah. myself and and elena we always refer to ourselves as being parakeets that we're like yeah the bright colors but this is kind of this verges more on pastel for me yeah and um i don't want a big pastel palette because i don't go just towards pastels i would i would use maybe a pastel to like blend something out but i yeah. wouldn't have a whole pastel look I just think they could have made this smaller. Sample Beauty came out with a few things this week and it's like they really just slid under the radar. Yeah. Like, Boom, we're here. And it was like, wait, what? <laughs> we had no prior warning. So they came yeah. out with these liquid eyeshadows and they come in 10 different shades. They're five pounds each. They also came out with these single eyeshadows and there's, I think there's like 20 something shades of those and they're three pounds 95 each. Then they also came out with the plush palette, which is 18 pounds. I really want that blush palette. I've seen Daniela um, use it. I've mm -hmm. seen Miss so Swatches and the Swatches look incredible. Yeah. And also with those liquid eyeshadows, uh, I was on Beauty Base side and I was looking at those. There's some really nice shades, like the green one. Yeah. And there's like a, like a, um, like a cocky, like a poopy gray color. Yeah. And then there's like a mustardy, like like a yellow color. And I really want, like, I really want those. And I those are, too. like, I think there will be really nice. You could use them as an eyeliner, as a base, as a cut crease, I think. I agree. I'm, yeah. I'm really, like, excited about those. And also, I think at some point I'm going to pick up the blush palette and some of the liquid eyeshadows. I'm not so keen on the singles. single shadows and i think the plush palette is a really nice addition to what they have it's not something that they have in their collection so yeah. far 18 pounds i got the equalizer too and i was so impressed with the quality of that so Don't that alone saying like you need it to and i'm like yeah I, yeah it's a very tea palette like it is really very nice and again like I said I know that some people were kind of saying oh it's almost like a dupe of the Beauty Bay palette I don't think that's a bad thing considering that was limited edition and you can't yeah. get it anymore next one oh my god guys seriously <laughs> <laughs> guys stop it ha huh. <laughs> You know my feelings on these things. This is Midas Cosmetics and this is their High Times palette. Look, it's part of this whole, you know, oh, 420. 420. Where's that cool? No, 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 no. <laughs> and um, I, I think it's coming out in the next couple of days. I just, the colour story itself is all right. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't hate the colour story. Yeah. Like, it's not anything revolutionary, no. but I don't hate it. Yeah. But I wouldn't also buy that. No. Even if it wasn't like a, a like um, weed team, even even then, I don't think that would have been a palette that I would have picked up. Same. But it's not bad. Yeah. It's just, I'm over it. Like, come on. I just, I don't understand why people are so obsessed. I think it's going to be even more and more in the future because yeah. like, we see that in America, there's going to be like the legalization of yeah. that and people are going to get more into and into that. So I think it's just, it's here to stay. So any of our April episodes are just going to be this. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be like, ah, hey. just see me in a year's time and I won't actually be sitting up doing the episode I, it'll just be me in a fetal position kind of going what has happened what is wrong with the world <laughs> so we then have Lorena Cosmetics and their high expectations eyeshadow palette oh is this we team of yeah <laughs> and with this one like 
the color story actually is it's like I kind of like it. I do too. But I'm like, eh, why does it have to be high expectation? Yeah, they are just about missing the cutoff point as well for April because it's coming out on the 28th of April. So like, yeah, so they've missed they've missed 420, which is a really yeah. silly marketing choice on their uh, part. I also think they may have shot themselves in the foot by including pressed glitters in their palette because you know how some people feel about that. I personally Isn't don't mind. It's like a good pressed glitter formula. I don't mind, but the rarely they are. Yeah. Rarely. Pretty much. Um, I mean, it's a nice color story, but... Yeah, uh, that's about it. This is Honey Drip Cosmetics and this is their High Honeys 420 edition eyeshadow palette. It's available for pre-order on the 20th of April. I mean, there, there's so much to be said <laughs> for this one. Oh my God, no. Exactly. The shape of the palette, I mean, that triggers me in and of itself. Yeah. And then just the theme I do like, love, the, like I got tagged in this an awful lot Brianna had like put 10 underneath because Sonia had tagged me and Brianna <laughs> tagged me as well kind of going oh yeah because Teresa will love this this is her favorite kind of thing yeah. and then Indie Makeup Hotspot <laughs> and uh, Honey Drip Cosmetics ended up liking the tweet <laughs> or the 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 post oh my god <laughs> um like the Again, the color story isn't like horrible, but yeah. <laughs> like the palette shape, the layout, like there's so much wasted space. Oh. And, like, how am I gonna store that? How? Throw Ten. it out of the window. That's how you store yeah. it. But do you know, I like that there's purples, but what annoys me is there's not enough depth in the purples. There's like three yeah. purple shades, and I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? There's nothing else to put them with, and they're all kind of within each other's tones like there's two yeah. purple mattes and one purple shimmer yeah mm -mm. <laughs> there's not enough depth in that whole palette like it's very meh next thing we have then is benefit cosmetics and they have come out with their foroscope palettes so mm -hmm. they have three different palettes it's their established powder products the hula the dandelion the georgia cookie etc but four of each are put into each one I think the irritating thing is in each of them there's an exclusive shade that you can't get singly so on the earth angel there's honeymoon that you you can't get elsewhere in fire queen they have three starlet solstice and blaze and then on air goddess there is solstice which is yes a double up from the one that's on fire queen and the blaze oh. and also why are they like different size those pants that is driving me crazy because they're cool and cookie and quirky yeah but it's like even with the bigger pants they're like little bit they're not like lined they're a little bit crossing each other i know it's and very then there's upsetting. like a lot of space there and i don't understand why it should why it could have been like a quad you've upset the yeah upset <laughs> Well, we want an apology right now. Now, yeah. I know there's two different ways to, well, there's a couple of different ways to look at this. First is, this is actually a, a decent thing if you haven't had benefit products before, you've wanted to try them. This actually works out technically cheaper to get these kind of bundled together in this way than, you know, if you're going to go off and buy, say, cookie by itself. So for that reason, I'm like, okay, that's all right. And th these are, I know myself because I bought these sort of things in the past. They're very easy to um, depot. There's no issue yeah. with that. My, my issue with this is the skin tone range. Also, like the colors don't match. Like, why yeah. is there such a, like a light blush, light um like a bronzer a kind of lightish highlighter and then a really deep blush in one yeah. of them because that blush would look beautiful on on a darker skin tone but there's no highlighters or bronzers there that suits anyone of a darker skin tone yeah. this is just a white person launch this is three palettes all for very very fair-skinned people yeah and a really dark blush in two of them like it's like uh, something is Look, not right 
it's it's one of those palettes that makes you think did you assemble this in the dark yeah from the color selections that don't really seem to make sense together to the just the weird mismatched shapes oh, yeah. i don't i don't get it um i mean like i said it's a, probably a decent deal if you've always wanted to try benefit stuff you know more yeah. power to and you if you but... don't get triggered by different pan sizes and then not lining together and <laughs> if you're like a really fair person and then you tan like really deep and then you can use all of that <laughs> that's a very you specific mark a lot of boxes to like get this it's like such a niche area like a really niche client yeah. we then have Colourpop and they are coming out with some quads there's six in all and each of them have two mattes a metallic and a glitter metallic I would I would like to disagree I think they have five different I yeah I am also inclined to, to I was agree. so confused when I saw it so it's like what? why are they doing the same things can I like, can I also like I actually like some of the color stories mm. like well, the can, I, can I also interject and state that remember when they came out with the quints the, the long quint yeah there's, there's one or two of those that are dead on color stories for these why are we now doing like what's with the same color stories why why pick a thing color pop you know they're they're getting smaller and smaller because remember they used to do like big 30 pound palettes they don't really yeah. do them as much and then they went down to nine pan then they went down to like five pan and now they're down to four pan like jesus are you all right lads <laughs> you know? um I, this is not for me i i rarely like this small of a palette like a quad mm. i rarely use those I, because i struggle to get like because i would need like a really deep color then blending color really light color to like blend all of those out and then possibly a shimmer and they rarely have those like yeah. in here you have two colors two shimmers so i i can't like work with that no. alone like you what? can but if you want to do anything more than just like the basic stuff but it would need. be difficult to even do the basic stuff because i'm sure the argument yeah. would be this is for somebody who does very simple makeup who is mm. doing simple makeup who is using a shimmer glitter yeah and yeah. in addition to that they have also come out with color sticks so they're a multitasking eyeshadow in a stick now when i saw these originally because of the way that they were presented i thought that these were eyeliners and i thought oh the colors are interesting i'd have them as eyeliners they're not they're they're Ooh, eyeshadow. but you could possibly use those as an yeah. eyeliner i would totally I use them as eyeliner like, eyeliners i, I actually kind of like this yeah so you can get them for six dollars each each, or you can get the matte about you kit which has eight of the matte shades for $40 and you can get the metallic much kit which has eight of the metallic shades for $40 it's uh, kind of expensive but yeah. but then again you get like eight shades so yeah. it's not bad but when I'm like all of those bundles I'm like why aren't they 20 euros I want them cheap <laughs> why can't they be free why yeah. aren't they sending these to me and yeah. they're also coming out with a mascara and i love that in the i think it was a trend mood post it said free makeup wipes and i was like oh jesus <laughs> what oh my god this is for you rebecca <laughs> makeup wipes oh this next one okay i have feelings on this because A, I like the colour story a lot. B, I do not like the theme at all. I'm very interested, obviously, in forensic psychology and crime and true crime, etc. However, I think there's a limit as to when you can capitalise or if you should capitalise on these things. Yeah. And this particular palette from Queen Slayer, and this is their River Killer Madness palette. And it's... Oh, they have like a body, like yeah. sinking down. Yeah. Yes, because it's all to do with the uh, with this very infamous serial killer that was I, I believe called the Ridgeway Killer, and he used to pick up oh. women on the highways and motorways, and he'd kill them. I don't like. Uh, yeah, I don't like that they're like. And this is recent. This is recent. That would have been the eighties and nineties. Yeah. So there would still be 
uh, surviving members of their yeah, that family. That would be really triggering to them. Exactly. I just think this is very, very poor taste. Also, like, I would like to see more, like, deeper colors. Yeah. Very light. It's not a bad color story, but, like, add some depth there. Yeah. And maybe just pick another theme for it. Yeah, I think even the fact that they have a shade in there called yeah is yeah. just like maybe like know where yeah, the taste limits are because there are brands out there that are really um, have quite a dark aesthetic and they, they go down those lines yeah. but they skirt it without having it be triggering but this yeah. is right now, like naming people and naming the locations like utah does not want to be remembered for yeah. being a site for all like it's still a big thing for them so it's oh i just think this was not very well thought out yeah and i think with things like I this, can also glorify these things because a little bit of that. yeah yeah, I just, oh, it doesn't sit right with me. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, next thing we have then is BH Cosmetics. Again, they just swooped in under the radar. Didn't really tell anybody that this was being released. And it was then just suddenly on Beauty Bay, like, which was like, what's happening? But they have three different palettes. It's the um, 80s, hello, uh, 90s and noughties palette. So they're $18 each and they also have the brush beat set for $28. Oh, I think the most interesting one to me is the 80s one, but I'm like, I wouldn't get it. This doesn't interest me one bit. No. I feel like, I don't like there's some pretty colors in there, but something about the color stories. They're it's not very, motivating. Like, yeah yeah um, I don't look at that and think god this is what I want to create with this or yeah I don't <laughs> think about look at those and be like oh I want to do this and this and they're just like they're they're not ugly yeah but I'm like they they doesn't inspire me the the naughty's palette there's a twinge of early urban decay about it <laughs> yeah like I can see. and I can I can see when I'm looking at that. I do see the noughties. Yeah. And my Lord, are the flashbacks happening? <laughs> like, oh no, I was a teenager then. It wasn't good. It was not fun. It was awkward. Yeah. Like, I think the color stories, particularly for the noughties and the 80s, makes a lot of sense. The 90s, not massively makes sense to me. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, and I wouldn't really. Like, there's some bright colors, but then like that doesn't scream like nineties. No, not not to me. It was it. Yeah. Anyways, they managed to just really quickly come out with that, and I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. We then have Sigma. They came out with the Corderosa collection last year. It was a lovely eyeshadow palette, and there were some glosses and some brushes. And now they're extending on that. So they have this Corderosa blush palette for $49 and they have their Bloom and Glow brush sets for $65. It's so expensive. It is, it's very expensive. For a blush palette, come mm -hmm. on. Actually, probably more expensive, I think, than the Lunar Beauties. Um, yeah, a lot more. I think Lunar is Beauty, it's like 35 maybe. Something like that, yeah. This, yeah, so. it's very expensive. Also, I just, I don't think blush palettes are necessarily the best idea because inevitably you end up with shades that aren't useful for you. Yeah. And also looking at these, yeah, they'll probably work on me. But, yeah, insert phrase here, what about people of a darker skin tone? There's like a couple of deeper shades, but this, this is what, if you come out with one palette, there it's not gonna suit everyone no and 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 like for me there would be like I would say I could use maybe four shades of those yeah. but then there would be those two that would be kind of do darkish on me so yeah. that's why I don't like anymore like like you say blush palettes contour palettes like big one that that's are meant to be catered to all skin like not all like all like Fair, light, size fits all. 
Like, no, we all and, have different colors. So like you're ever, you're going to end up with colors that you can't use. And mm. it's such a waste of product. And then you'll have hit pan can. on like yeah. 50% of your uh, palette. And then the yeah. other 50% hasn't been touched. Yeah, I think we should like steer out from these big palettes that's supposed to work for everyone. Yeah. And just do like singles or duos or something like that, that you can pick and choose what shades you want and you don't. This is KKW Beauty and they they have called this their eye contour duo. My love, stop calling it contour. It's just an eyeshadow duo of basic ass nudes and you've come up with three different tones, which by the way, they're not even that deep. And you have yeah. the the audacity, the audacity to charge $24. For if this would have been like a contour duo, I would be more interested. Yeah. <laughs> like, a like a face duo, yeah. Eyeshadow duo. I'm like, what? Uh, why do I need this? Why? I mean, arguably, you could, I mean, you could use those. Yeah. As, but as... how big are those? Exactly. And for $24. If they're like, yeah. If they're like a good size, then maybe. But I I don't see why I need another product for eye contouring. Yeah. But I could just use my contour palette that I have already. This is just trying to like event another product that you need for your makeup that you don't actually need. But yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm we're on to you Kim we're on to you yeah. and uh, she's also coming out with a glossy lip balm $18 and uh, dew lended eye contour brush $18 look you know what I think about you lended brushes I really <laughs> hate them I think they are so stupid why doesn't it look do it? oh or it has like a little pencil brush yeah. on the other hand yeah I thought it was just like an eyeshadow brush yeah and then you realize the true horror yeah it's like oh for god's sake like I don't like those kind of brushes either this next one well this is I'm not I'm not gonna lie this is semi-interesting to me just simply because I haven't seen sleek come out with something in a very yeah. long time uh, to the point that I was kind of wondering are they still a thing yeah this is their control alt collection they have their control alt create eyeshadow palette for 12 pounds 99 18 pastel shades I actually don't hate it me neither quite like it's not it. like too pastel pastel yeah. it's like there's still some depth in there like there's those darker shades still hmm. so all i'm saying is xx revolution do you see how you can edit it down yeah you know that that actually looks pretty nice i don't know how sleek i should have formalized but i'm interested okay. to try it i might pick it up just to just yeah, to see 12 99 so it's not not even expensive there. yeah i do think oh how am i going to say this in a nice way the control alt glow highlighting palette nine pounds 99 is gross and uh, i don't understand it like, how is that, that a highlight gonna... yeah it's who's a... that gonna fit i, like, I literally have no really idea. dark shades then there's like this pastely teal and a purple <laughs> it's like here's a lovely gray highlighter. cast i know that they do good highlighters but that's gonna look not weird so yeah and they and like they i don't said... think that that is that kind of a like formula that is like transparent when you look away yeah. if that would have been that kind of a formula it would make more sense they also have their control alt glaze lip valve lip gloss for five pounds 99 it's a gloss topper i mean i i, I don't care about that i think the eyeshadow palette is interesting yeah. this next one is specifically for our girl rebecca we know that she has it on her wish list. We know that she wants it. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is their new makeup remover wipes. Uh, they're $6 per uh, 30 wipe pack. And they, you know, claim they have all these things like aloe vera, chamomile, cucumber, all that sort of thing. Now, I know that our girl Rebecca swears by makeup wipes. And she yeah, says she's well, going to actually... buy these. Like, I think she's just already might pay, might be even bought those if yeah. they're out because I know that she said things like um all you actually need is makeup wipes you don't yeah, have to they're really good lens. for your skin and they're like moisturize and take all of your makeup yeah off. the more alcohol in it the better you yeah know that sort of thing yeah. um if by now by the way you haven't figured out that that was sarcasm 
<laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Are these biodegradable? Uh, actually, this is a point uh, that I discovered recently. You can mark anything down as being biodegradable because technically everything degrades over time. Um, yeah. That's not great. They say this is, Rebecca, they say alcohol free and dermatology tests reviewed. Reviewed? So, well, yeah, reviewed not it. tested. Have Just reviewed. <laughs> this is Killer Queen's Cosmetics and they have their volume two artistry palette. These are water activated liners and there are 15 multi-chromes, seven duochromes and six regular chromes. Holy mackerel. Yeah. How expensive is that? Exactly. Right. <laughs> now, for, for those of you who are watching at home, I need you to sit down because it will shock you. $168 American, not Canadian, not Australian, 168 American dollars. You can, you can... use a code <laughs> yeah. uh, killer to save 12%, which seems very specific. Yeah. Not 10%, 15%. 12. Just 12. 12%. 12. Um, they look nice. Yeah. Like, I, I would like to say swatches. I thought this was going to be eyeshadow, like, kind of like the um, JD Glow kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was more excited about it that way. But I don't hate it, but I would never buy it for that yeah. price. Oh, God, no. They look really small. Like, they look like an eyeshadow pan. You get barely any product. Yeah, that's going to go quickly, you know, yeah. with water. maybe I'm just really messy with my water activated liners. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. This is L'Oreal and their collaboration with uh, Ellie Saab. I believe this is like a fashion thing. I don't really know much. So he apparently does stylish wedding gowns and haute couture dresses designed to flatter and enhance feminine silhouette. This is apparently a limited edition collection. It's going to include three different shades of glosses, four different types of or shades of lipstick, an eyeshadow palette, which is blah. Are they all shimmers? They look yeah, like they're all they shimmers. Like, what is yeah. that? And a mascara. We have no prices yet. Apparently it's available in the States at the moment and it's coming worldwide elsewhere. If those like glosses would have been liquid lipstick, the palest shade. Yeah. Looks really nice, but I don't need a gloss. I like the look of the lipsticks because there's red. Because they're red. The the palette. Can can we talk yeah. about that for a second? What the yeah. hell? What is this? Like what the actual? I hate it. I actually. I, this is. Remember how we were talking the BH Cosmetics and the Naughties palette. This is the Naughties, but in a really bad way. <laughs> this is mm. awful. I'm like, what am I gonna even do with that? Throw they're all shimmers, the and they're not even like they don't even look like those pretty shimmers. Oh. They look like those satin shades that nobody oh. likes. Oh. No, I'm actually like I actually am having a little bit of a physical reaction looking at it, which I know sounds yeah. really dramatic, but I'm looking at that and it's actually a genuinely blech palette. Yeah. Okay, Nabla have come out with this Skin Realist Beautifying Tinted Balm, or they are coming out with it. They haven't said how much it is. It apparently has microspheres of hyaluronic acid, so it should be fairly decent for moisturizing. However, there's only seven shades. Now, I know that it apparently blends out to give more of a tint. Yeah. But and you still want some coverage. Like yeah. I do still need some coverage. I have like redness and yeah. I can't like with tinted like just if just like a hint of tint. They don't like I uh, they don't just like work on me. Yeah, it's gonna be That's fine for like I mean. 18 year old skin, but like Yeah, you have to be like have to have like a really good skin. Yeah. To to be able to use those or you have to use like a lot of concealer to yeah. first cover up and then just use them. which why why would you yeah i don't get it um so it's not for me 
No, me neither. And uh, speaking of not for me, this is Hip Dot and they are continuing it with their weird collaboration. And this time it's with Reese's. Now I remember Reese's did a collaboration with, I think it was Etude House maybe a year ago. I don't know why a chocolate bar company is doing this or uh, like seeking out collaborations, but there you go. Yeah. So they have their Reese's white chocolate palette, $16. Their milk chocolate palette, $16. They have the scented lip balms, which are $14, a double-ended brush set, $16, and you can get a limited edition bag and the full set for $74. And they apparently have the aroma of Reese's peanut butter cup. The fragrance is synthetic and is free of actual peanut content. So that's good if you have like a peanut allergy. I liked the shade of like the lips until I realized it was a lip balm. And then I was like, uh, ah, why? don't like nothing. This... Oh. This is just like so bad. And why would I even want like chocolate inspired makeup? It's just gonna be browns. And can I just say, please don't come for me, but Reese's of all of the chocolate is- I never tried it. Oh, it's not nice. However, we are finishing on a nice note. (laughs) Okay, I'm very excited because I I, I actually have this palette. I have it. Lois sent it onto me and I have played with it. This is the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. Mm. By the way, my lovely enablers, my Patreons, I'm doing a giveaway with them. By the time this is up, we'll have already gotten a winner as to who is getting the palette. Um, But they'll also be really annoyed that in the PowerPoint slide that I give them, if you slide the picture to the left, you'll see the palette reveal underneath. It was there all along, Patreons. It was there all along. (laughs) Hiding in plain sight. So the palette is uh, £28.99. There's 16 Gahaujas shades. It's yes, it is more expensive than her 12 pound palettes. However, you're getting two grams of product rather than one gram of product this time around. And uh, there is no pressed glitter in this. I don't care. I want it. It's going to be mine. And uh, if you like the look of this, A, I'll have a review up on my channel tomorrow on Sunday because uh, FYI, guys, Lois has told me there's a pre-order on Sunday, tomorrow. So you can get it then. And then the complete launch date is the 28th. And it is just, it's it's stunning. It's stunning. It's so beautiful. It's the black. so pretty. I, like, that's such a pretty palette. I, oh, I can't wait to I, push I'm, it. Like, just smear it on. It's so pigmented and I I normally don't spend a lot of time doing my makeup but I spent a lot of time sitting down just playing with this because I was just enjoying it so much so um I will have uh swatches a review etc on my channel tomorrow on Sunday uh by 8 a.m if you want to see before you go ahead and do your pre-order and um. if you um if you don't want to order it and are just hoping that it may come from the heavens keep another eye out on my channel because I will be doing a giveaway on my channel for all of you guys. So, oh. yeah, I'm extra generous this month. Yeah, you're like, palettes, everyone. <laughs> you get a palette, you get a palette, everyone gets a palette. I mean, if I could, I totally would. Yeah. Um, I just, um, you know me, I don't give away things unless I really like them. I don't want to give away yeah. crap. And, um, I just think it's beautiful. I'm just really glad we got to end the the new makeup releases yeah, on like that on a good nice one. note. <laughs> on a, a really good crap. one. Yeah, there was a lot of crap. Um, yeah. So that does mean that we're heading into the lightning round. So strap in, there's a lot of mediocrity. Okay, first thing is uh, Makeup Revolution. They have the butterfly lip gloss in the shades Evolve, Hope and Fly. They have a forever flawless butterfly eyeshadow palette for £12. And they've added to the Friends set. So there's lip sets in Phoebe, Rachel and Monica for £8.99. Revolution Skincare have a CBD cleansing oil for £12. Reusable soft cleansing mitts for £10. 
£10, a dual phase eye makeup remover for £8, a makeup remover cleansing oil for £10, and a Hydro Bank cooling ice facial roller for £10. Tip Mouse are coming out with this, and I think it's really cute. It's um, lash boxes. It's so, so cute. I think that's a really cute idea. I could have sworn that we had talked about this a couple of weeks ago, but apparently this is like a new addition. This is Shantikai and their Flower Power collection. They have the Flower Powder Cheek Shade Blush, $50. The Lip Chic in the shade Capucine, $48. Perfecting Blur Powder in two shades, $84. And you can get the Mini Buff and Blur Brush for $42. Oh, the macaroni so expensive. Yes, I'd love to be bougie, but I'm not that bougie. Alien Cosmetics have a new eyeshadow that is available for pre-order right now. And they also have two new shades of lipsticks. In addition to that, they also have five new styles of lashes. They're quite quite cool. They're $12 each. We then have a uh, Florisys and they have a primer with SPF 50. True Luscious have launched a new product. It's a vegan range of brow definer pencils. They are $20 each. Makeup Geek have the face buffer brush and the angled stippling brush for $16.49 each. Terra Moon Cosmetics are coming out with some new shades. They are basically retailing from $8 each. Natasha Denona is coming out with uh, two new quince and they're part of the April boxy charm so I would assume that they're going to come out with these as well. Oh god Viseart they have their Salai La Plage Etendue palette and this is $44 it's neutral with that obligatory pop of blue Yeah. <laughs> I am very confused by this next one this is Ila Masca and their double take summer collection they have their colour correcting bronzers for £34 and yes that is a strip of blue in the middle of it and they say that this is like to like colour correct or something I don't get it and they also have Hydra Lip Tints for £20. Again, they have just this streak yeah. going through it. And it is bringing me back to when Benefit had those dual lip, like little lipsticks that was meant to like, it was terrible. So uh, this is bad, Ila Masca, very bad. Yeah. Magic Mondays have a, a new release palette. It is the Oracle Palette, Volume 1, $52. Yeah. I was kind of excited, but now the yeah, price. Yeah, $52, like, I don't know. Golden Queen's Beauty have their 1994 eyeshadow palette. It's out now for $35. This is Widow Witches and their Adams Family eyeshadow palette. I'm kind of surprised that they managed to get the artist work for the Adams Family. I'm like, is that trademark or copyright? But it's available from April 21st. Flawless Cosmetics has a new product and it is the Aurora palette. It's $39. Lucid Makeup have their Flow Child eyeshadow palette. We have Glam Shop and the Total Matte Volume 2. We have Beauty by Bibby and they have some new duochrome shadows. We have Cara Beauty and they are so duping the little mini Norvinas. Oh yeah, Elena. Like, Elena needs Elena's to do the honest. Yeah, so they have five. Yeah, I so associate this with Elena. They have five yeah. different styles of shadows, and they are fifteen dollars ninety nine each, and they're available now. OMFG Cosmetics have four new eye brushes. They're eight dollars each, or you can get the set of four for twenty eight dollars, so saving four dollars. Lady Luck Beauty Shop have their Sad Girl. Payasa collection and <laughs> I, don't like. I hate this like <laughs> just no please. get rid of all of the reds because there's four reds of the same bloody tone and two pinks yeah. of essentially the same tone very badly done toffee cosmetics have their spring symphony bundle and it's 36 dollars for the bundle or seven dollars each yvette beauty have a new eyeliner palette it's the icing on the cake liner palette and it's 16 us dollars that's not bad senora beauty cosmetics have their fet liquid eyeshadow collection and they are 12 pounds now 99 each they all look the same color <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like what <laughs> you have duped yourself <laughs> MAC have collaborated with, that is a brilliant name, Alanorama. And they have this kit with uh, MAC Fix Plus in the scent Coconut, Strobe Cream in Gold Light, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Whisper of Guilt, um, Lip Pencil in the shade Strip Down, and Lip Glass in the shade See Through. And they are all full size products and you can get it for $74. So quite a bit of a saving there. Feud Beauty have their Koyodu Illustrious Raiden series. Now, very affordable because the uh, oh, little small eyeshadow that. brush is $105. The medium oh. eyeshadow brush is $128. 
and the large eyeshadow brush is $193 and the cheek brush is $387. What? Ah! Well, this, are they joking? There has to be. And what are those shapes? I love this idea of like having like a credit card charge of like $600 and it being like, what on earth did you buy? These four brushes. What? <laughs> Six hundred dollars wouldn't even be enough. <laughs> it's I look. No, and I don't understand the shapes. They look. <sighs> yeah. Can I just say though, if anyone is actually le legitimately going to buy these, could you instead consider adopting me? Me also. Like I'm free for adoption. Teresa has been already adopted, so. So I am a proven entity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's weird. We then have Forever Always Lashes and their Forever and Always eyeshadow palette for $15. By Terry has their My Summer Essentials kit. So it includes the Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash and the Ombre Black Star N4 Bronze Moon Eyeliner for $26. Okay, so this is the Beauty Bar Cosmetics. This is part of their 420 collection and all six of these together are $102. Come $17 on. Each. They didn't no. even bother to bundle it together to make it cheaper. So no, no, no way. We have Shop Amore USA and we talked about this last week. They have their Hibiscus Dream Palette, but in addition to that, they have their Shine Bright Palette, which is $10. And you can get essentially the two of them together for $21. That's not bad. Bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Casual Beauty have a cream bronzer, powder blush, and powder highlighter trio, and it comes in three different color stories. We have Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics and their new Dark Stars Cake Liner Palette. Ooh. I'm actually kind of interested. Yeah. I like these colors because they're grungy. Yeah. They're not like those bright Different. colors. I actually think this is a pretty good one. Yeah, I think it's a smart one. We then have Reza Lashes and they have come out with their Angel Dust Multichrome Pigments. They are $13.50 each. We have Homegirls Beauty and their Homegirl Code Collection. This is Moira Cosmetics and they have their Belle and Rouge Face Palette and their Sculpt and Bronze Palette. They are available now. Baby Face Lashes have their Rolling with the OGs eyeshadow palette. Rolling with the homies. Jelly Wink Cosmetics have their Psychedelic Metals Graphic Paint Pots and they are coming out in eight shades and they're available now. Bedoya Beauty and their Prism Collection. So they have three Prism palettes, they're $17 each, five Prism lipsticks, $14 each, and three Prism highlights, they're $17 each. I am continually confused by the LB Boutique and Cosmetics because on the one hand, they're like, here's this Logan's box of brushes, which is like part of their schoolyard collection. And then they yeah. also have this eyeshadow palette called Filthy Little Secrets. <laughs> what? Which is apparently 12 duochrome eyeshadows they don't look very duochrome and yeah. uh, the brushes are $30 and the palette is $40 the makeup pharmacy has uh, two new singles so Gypsy is a pressed eyeshadow and they have Flawlex which is a pressed highlighter. Artitude Cosmetics is releasing their duochrome cake liners. They're $11.65 each and they come in five different shades with three grams a piece. And you could bundle all five of them together for $52.09. Ava Turner Cosmetics has the Butterfly Palette and that's available for pre-order right now for $15. We have Madage Beauty London and they are releasing their Super Cleanse Cleansing Bars in Charcoal, Tea Tree, Turmeric, Vitamin E and Sunflower Seed. Or is it that they have each of those things? Very confusing. Anyways, they have oh cleansing gosh. bars. Lally Lashes have their Dreaming Casually palette for $30 and they have their Smile Now, Cry Later palette, $25. Yeah, Smile you now, will cry later. The Smile Now, Cry Later is the Playboy <laughs> Bunny palette. Let's be real, that's what it looks like. And the whole thing with Playboy is so weird yeah. and creepy. I'm kind of interested in this. This is a Zoeva and their 118 Multi Liquid Brush, $22. Is it like a foundation? Brush. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, like because I think you could use it for like say liquid blushes and stuff. Yeah. This is Derma Blend Pro, and they're releasing their continuous correction CC cream SPF 50. Park Avenue Cosmetics and their new Love Your Lips collection. And guess what? It's glosses. Aha. 
$13.99 each. Milani Cosmetics have their Conceal and Perfect Smooth Finish Cream to Powder Foundation, 22 oh. shades. That's I funny. say that's a, is that the one that it's duping the KVD? I'm interested in that. I'd like to see yeah. what that's like. Hermes or Hermes are coming out with their Rosy Lip Enhancer, $67. Oh, just yeah. a something affordable. Yeah, you know, just a little something. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new brand. It's Frenchy Anime brand, which is a weird one. And they have a 12 pan eyeshadow palette and three styles of lashes. That's available from the 22nd of April. We sneak peeked this one last week. And this is the companion case collection from Beautylish. They have the Essentials Vertical uh, Pouch for $120, the soft brush book for $160, the double decker case, $180, the portable organizer, $85, and the brush envelope, $75. So I think these are just containers, like actual. Yeah, so expensive. It's ridiculous. Uh, Makeup Geek have the St. Jude bundles. You can get these bundles of these quads with an eyeliner for $24, and $10 from each bundle is being donated to St. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That's really good. I like that. Cirque Colors have their California Dreaming Collection. So they basically have five new nail polishes and they're apparently limited edition colors. Bobby Brown have their Destination Beauty Soul Face Palette and has eyeshadows, blush, highlighter and a lip product. I hate that. I hate that. Grunge Glow uh, have their Killer Blends Palette. It's $20. Uh, We have Makeup Maniacs uh, coming out with more stuff. This is their new loose multi-chrome pigments and they are available now. We have SP Cosmetics with what looks like an AliExpress knockoff. Yeah. I'm fairly certain I've seen these exact palettes on yeah. AliExpress. This is the so early- expensive. Like yeah. don't buy these. You can buy these cheaper on Amazon, AliExpress, wherever. Absolutely. Like don't because they're, they're charging $17.91 for each. Yeah. Notorium Skin, and they have two new products. They have their fermented Carnelia Creamy Cleansing Oil for $20 and their fermented Rice Enzyme Cleanser for $18. We then have Haku Hoda USA, and they have various brushes. And These are very- so expensive. Yeah. I didn't even find the price. It's probably just as well I didn't because I don't think I'm... I know that they are. Yeah, yeah, they, you got. They always are. We then have Fresh Beauty, and this is their white truffle overnight mask uh, for the low, low price of four hundred and seven dollars for a hundred milliliters. <laughs> what? What is going on? What? what are are they actually the person buying like seven or eight hundred dollars worth of brushes is obviously buying this as well we have birdie lashes and they are coming out with their new seductive lashes they are twelve dollars and they are 3d foaming and then finally we have pharmacy beauty and they have their sweet apple clean and it's basically a melting balm sort of thing for 34 dollars. i do think though in the in the tub it looks really weird yeah it's gone off don't understand. I wouldn't want to put that onto my face with the way that it looks. Yeah. That's, and Brianna said the same thing. So I'm like, solidarity. I'm with you yeah. on that. So that means we have gone through all of the stuff that is coming out. So we are left with just the sneaks, sneaks, peeks, the sneaks, sneaks, peeks. The sneak peek. This looks terrible based upon the swatches, hex ads, and their emotional eyeshadow palette. And Why are the swatches so bad? It's really bad. We then have Foolish Hustle Lashes and their Riverside County eyeshadow palette. Shiseido is coming out with 18 single shadows. They're also coming out with five liner pencils and two brushes. I like the yellow liner pencil. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Though. Oh, of course it will. But really I like really it. I'll wait until Beauty Bay comes out with a very pigmented yellow one. Dior are coming out with a new eyeshadow quint in very boring shades. Why are they still putting those brushes in there? Like, aren't we over that? Apparently not. You wouldn't get it though, Tia, because you're not rich and bougie. Yeah, I'm just a cheap hoe. <laughs> that wants to use actual brushes to take yeah. on her makeup. We then have Drunk Elephant and their sugared co- coffee almond milk scrub. Yeah, you know that's going to cost a chunk of money and you could probably yeah. make it up yourself if you wanted. Gatita Gang have a new eyeshadow palette coming out at some point. Forever Purple Cosmetics are coming out with this 
monstrosity. It's their smoke yeah. and slay 420 eyeshadow palette. I don't want to talk about it. Lorena Makeup Cosmetics mm-hmm. have a bundle of soft duo crumbs coming out in eight shades. Those look nice. They do look nice. I like the look of those. Based upon some stories that have come out from P. Louise, there's something, I don't know if it's a cream, because remember how she came out with like some skincare stuff yeah. there recently? I'm wondering if she's adding to that. And then in another story, she was using this yellow sort of a base and she said we have a brand new yellow colored base coming soon and it's a multi-use product and they said it can be used on the lip and even as blush i like a yellow blush i know that sounds weird but it is nice it is nice it's bell cosmetics have a new pigment and it's in the shade angelical it's so pretty like the look of that yeah this was sent to me as well i heart revolution are collaboration with disney again are we surprised and they're coming out with the Aristocats collection. And there's a really cute little paw brush. And the palettes kind of actually, to be fair, makes sense when you're looking at, you know, the color stories. So they're coming out at some point. Do you know what? We'll probably be talking about them next week properly. Yeah, I so. want the brush. I do it's too. So cute. <laughs> it's really cute. And, uh, you know, they have these like little highlighters as well that have like little, little paw prints in them. They're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Probably um, wouldn't buy them if there wasn't like cute yeah. cat things there, but that's I'm like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> the two cat ladies are just here being like, yeah. <laughs> we're here for this. We we will accept this. <laughs> we will buy anything that has cats on it. Oh, it's honestly, so cute. <laughs> honestly. And then finally, Shanxo seems to be coming out with something new. So it's a lip veil. So some sort of a lip product. Anyways. That's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. You know the you know the story. Um, do please like, comment, and subscribe. Go find Tia if you haven't by now. That's very remiss of you. Disgrace. Very rude. Mm, very rude. Terrible. Keep an eye out on my channel tomorrow for the uh, Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld review. And I, I did a lovely well. look. I did a lovely look. And also keep an eye out for my um giveaway on this which will be in a few days as well because i want to treat you guys because i'm not the worst person ever Woohoo! um but that's it um do please like comment and subscribe do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an std in which case you know wrap it up don't be gross but that's it that's the end of the video and we will see you guys in the next one bye, bye.